Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning at uh, ETAPS 2016. My name is uh, Joost Pieter Katoen and I'm um, representing the ETAPS steering committee as well as the ETOPS association. And uh, I would like to give you a short opening uh, to this conference. Um, so I guess you all know where you have been landed. Uh, what is ETAPS? ETAPS is, is a federation of uh, five conferences. Uh, we have ESOP, the European Symposium on Programming, um, FASE, or FASE, Fundamental Approaches of Software Engineering, then the more theoretical oriented conference, FOSAX, Foundations of Software Science and Computation Structures, POST, whose focus is on security, is called Principles of Security and Trust, and we have TACAS, Tools and Algorithms for the Construction and Analysis of Systems. Um, some people may think, well, something is missing here. There used to be the conference CC, which is called Compiler Construction. Um, they decided last year uh, to leave the ETAPS consortium, and they are now uh, uh, joining with another conference. Um, ETAPS was initiated in 1998 as a merger of several conferences uh, on different topics. Um, it's currently being run by, uh, by a steering committee. Inside the steering committee, there is an executive board where about six, seven people try to do the daily business over the whole year on organizing ETAPS. But in addition, every conference, so every of those five listed conferences has its own steering committee and its own program committee. Um, ETAPS was initiated in 1998, and uh, someone who was very influential actually, uh, unfortunately, uh, passed away uh, two weeks ago. It's uh, Hartmut Erich. Um, so I would like to spend some words on Hartmut Erich and explain you uh, what he has meant for ETAPS. Um, so here are some pictures of Hartmut Erich. So here is, uh, is uh, Hartmut, there is Gabriele Tenser. She is currently the steering committee chair of uh, FACE. This is a somewhat more older picture of Hartmut. This is a picture at his university, the Technical University of Berlin, with the dean of that time, Adam Wolisch and Ina Schieferdecker. And here he is uh, actually, uh, I think, signing a book, being sold by uh, Markus Rochenbach. And uh, here is also a somewhat more older picture. And um, so what, he, what his, are his achievements? And then I will explain you a bit what he has done for ETAPS. So Hartmut was a full professor in theoretical computer science slash formal specification. So his specialization was basically algebraic specifications at the University Technical University of Berlin for many, many years, where he actually also got his PhD and his master in mathematics also at the same university. He organized and was PC chair or even for some conferences steering committee chair for several conferences. So one of the main ones that influenced uh, ETOP, ETAPS was uh, Topsoft. Um, it's almost a kind of permutation of the letters with a few more with ETAPS. And indeed, this is a, a conference that is about theory and practices of software. And he brought together in 1985, he organized the first Topsoft in Berlin, where actually he brought together two conferences called CSE and CAP, the colloquium on uh, an actually uh, algebraic uh, programming. And he brought that together in 1985. And actually, that later on, in 1998, he was very influential and actually himself was very active in uh, setting up ETAPS and actually Topsoft, so the two conferences, CSE and CAP. CSE was basically followed up by FACE, and CAP is actually, you can in somewhat consider this as being part of FOSAX. So FOSAX can be seen as a kind of successor of CAP. Good. He was very um, also um, influential in the international conference on graph transformations, and there he was a steering committee chair for many years. And then uh, he was not only influential in the beginning of ETAPS, he also organized ETAPS in 2000, um, which was the third ETAPS. So we started in uh, Portugal in 1998, then we went to Amsterdam in 1999. And then actually it was a very important year in Berlin because, uh, well, it was a kind of maturity of ETAPS, and he took up the job. Uh, which is, I can assure you, a hell of a job to organize ETAPS, and he did this in 2000. He served on the editorial boards of several journals. I'm not going to go through all of them. He co-authored more than 500 publications, and maybe interesting, he uh, wrote, he's the author of the most, or co-author of the most influential paper in graph transformation in the last 32 years. This was an award that was handed out in 2010. 
Good, here are a few of his books, and maybe you uh, recognize full of some of these books, like here, The Handbook of Graph Grammars and uh, Computing by Graph Transformation. Uh, another one which is a bit more older, Algebraic Specification Techniques and Tools for Software Development. Um, that actually was uh, also used later in one of the ISO standardized specification languages, LOTOS. Um, and actually, the part to uh, specify data structures in LOTOS is originally from, uh, from this work uh, by Hartmut Erich and uh, some of his co-workers. Good. Um, if you look at his former students, he has been enormously influential. This is a picture of 2004, so it's definitely not up to date. Um, but it shows you uh, all his PhD students and the PhD students of his PhD students, so he has been very influential. And you can see this, for instance, on the list on the bottom. Uh, Paula Baldan, uh, Annegret Habel, Jurian Hage, Raiko Heckel, Hansje Krujowski, Gabriele Tenzer, Detlef Plump, uh, Laila Rubero. This is just a selection of all the people that directly worked with Hartmut Erich in the, in the past. And many of these people are still very influential and very uh, active, actually, in ETAPs nowadays. So uh, with this, I would like to honor, uh, with these few words, and this is too few, to honor all his work and all his, um, let's say, um, active participation in, uh, in ETAPs, I would like to honor Hartmut Erich, who uh, passed away too early, but he was one of the main founders of uh, ETAPs. Good. Um, after this short commemoration, I would like to uh, give you some submission statistics of uh, ETAPs during the last couple of years. So starting with 2007, there is, of course, I mean, as I told you, 1998, there is more, but I didn't want to uh, pollute the picture too much. Um, so what you see is that uh, this year we got 474 submissions, out of which 143 papers have been selected, thanks to the hard work of all the PC members and the reviewers that supported the PC members. So the 143 papers are the ones that are going to be presented during ETAPS this week. Good. If you would like to have a little bit more detailed plot, uh, and a little bit more colorful plot, this is the plot with all the, well, the five constituting conferences of ETAPS plus CC, as I explained to you, uh, that left the ETAPS uh, consortium uh, uh, last year. So this is a plot that shows you that, uh, for instance, in green it's hard to see, but the green is uh, the picture over here, are the number of submissions to, uh, to ESOP, uh, FACE, FOSAX, TACAS, very many submissions this year, 175. This includes the tool submissions, also tool demonstration papers, and 35 papers uh, to, uh, to post. Good. Um, as I said, in 1999, ETAPS was in the Netherlands for the first time. Um, I'm very happy to be back in the Netherlands in 2016, and we are here in Eindhoven at the University of uh, Eindhoven. Uh, those people that already participated in the workshops uh, yesterday and on Saturday, maybe already had some chance to get some glimpse of the city and maybe part of the environment. Uh, I would advise you not only to stay in, uh, in uh, Eindhoven, but also take your time and jump to Nunen, which is a village very short by here. And actually, Vincent van Gogh, the famous painter, lived there for quite some time in, uh, in Nunen. So, Eindhoven, why do you, why maybe you know Eindhoven? Well, maybe because this company has been uh, grounded here, I mean, has been uh, funded here, started here. Uh, maybe because you uh, know this museum, the Van Abbe Museum. And if not, you maybe, if you have time, you should maybe visit this year. And if you don't know Eindhoven for them, then definitely as a computer scientist, you should know Eindhoven from Etsche Wiebe Dijkstra. So he spent, before he went to the University of Texas at Austin, he uh, spent uh, very many years in, in Eindhoven. And uh, one of the famous quotes he has, he has several quotes, I won't go into all of them, but uh, computer science is no more about computers than astronomy is about telescopes. That's why he hated the term computer science in his view, it would be computing science, because it's not about the computers, it's about computing, right? Um, this is um, a company that uh, builds uh, trucks, trucks, and if you participate in the banquet, actually, Prior to the banquet, there is the opportunity to visit the museum of this company, which is called Duff. And this is the high-tech campus in the southern part of, uh, of Eindhoven. 
uh, former the premises of the, the, the research labs of uh, Philips, which actually are still part of it. But there are many more companies on this campus and hosting many, many people doing uh, science and in particular computer science. And that's why Eindhoven is also called the Silicon Valley of the Netherlands. The host um, of this conference is the technical union, well, actually the Eindhoven University of Technology, uh, abbreviated as the Technical University of Eindhoven. Um, one of the main reasons uh, is to be here is that uh, this university exists, uh, celebrates the 60th year's birthday uh, this year, so it was founded 60 years ago. Here you see uh, an overview of the campus of the university, and uh, this is a, a picture also of one of the buildings of the university uh, at, the, at night. Um, this is the logo of ETAPS of this year, and as you see in the colors of the Netherlands, uh, red, blue, and white. And the general chair is uh, Jan Frieso Grote, um, and he does this with a big team. And I would like to mention at least two, and definitely at the banquet or so, we will have more opportunity to thank these people. But in particular, Erik de Vink and Anton Weiss, those three people are uh, the main organizers of uh, ETAPS this year. And as I told you already, this is a hell of a job. And uh, I uh, am very thankful, and the steering committee of ETAPS is very thankful to them that they are willing or have been willing to take up this job and, uh, and organize ETAPS 2016. Um, what can you expect this week? I, show, I explained to you already 143 papers uh, that will be presented. But in addition, we have two tutorials and uh, five invited speakers. Um, this person I will go to introduce a bit later. Uh, this is Andy Gordon. This is uh, Vladis Matikov, and he is going to give a talk tomorrow about machine learning and the connection to privacy. This afternoon, we will have a tutorial of Peter Ryan, University of Luxembourg, about electronic voting. And he will uh, explain us some experiences there. Uh, Cristina Lopez will give an invited talk tomorrow, uh, actually about distributed simulation of software systems. Um, Rupak Majumdar, MPI, Sabrukan will give a talk, invited talk on the first day morning about cyber physical systems, in particular robots. Um, then the, there is a talk by Oskar Nierstras from the University of Bern in Switzerland, who is going to explain us that uh, object-oriented programming is going to die soon. And that's he's going to present this on uh, Wednesday morning. And on Wednesday afternoon, if you still have some energy, then you should definitely attend a tutorial by Grigor Rozou about K, which is a system to actually uh, formally specify properties on software and do uh, uh, verification of it. Good. Some news about ETAPS. Um, I'd like to keep this uh, a bit short. Um, those people that have registered at the desk or that already attended this week's workshops, there is an important questionnaire which takes maybe three minutes of your time to fill it and complete it. My advice is please do so, um, because this is about the future publication model of ETAPS. So ETAPS, um, since 1998, has been published in the lecture notes of computer science of uh, Springer. Actually, for all participants to ETAPS, this, uh, this is open access. So if you have uh, uh, attend this ETAPS, then you can download these papers from the web. And that is called green access. There is, however, also a version called gold open access, which means that as an author, for instance, you keep the copyright, so the, the rights of the papers. And for instance, there is also the opportunity to get access to your metadata. And um, so there are options between green and gold. This is more explained in the beginning of the questionnaire. And one of the main questions that is at stake, um, are we happy with the current situation that means green open access, or do you, as ETAP's audience, uh, prefer uh, gold open access? And the second important question is, currently we publish in conference proceedings. Now, if you look at other um, sciences like uh, physics or mathematics, people typically publish in journals. Yeah? And this, if you do evaluations of sciences and sometimes compare computer science results to those of physics, um, people have problems to really judge what are conference publications. Um, so the question that there is at stake, and some actually associations like the ACM is going into that direction, is directly publish papers that will be accepted at conferences, conferences of high quality like ETAPS, in a journal. So the second question that is important at the questionnaire is, are we happy with the current conference publication, 
Or are we interested, are you interested, in, uh, in getting a, a publication directly into a journal? So how can you participate? Either you can do this here by filling in the form, and please do so, or go online to this link and fill in the questionnaire and submit your answers there. Um, this is one example that uh, we would like to have ETAP's attendance to be uh, important and influential in the decision that we make. There is a one, another one, is namely you can become a member for free of the ETAP's association. How? Go to this link and just fill in your details and you will be a member. As I said, it doesn't cost anything. What do you get from it? Well, because you are a member, you, are, uh, you can cast votes. Uh, there will be a General Assembly uh, this Wednesday, and sometimes there will be votes. So I could imagine that next year there could be a vote between green open access versus gold open access, journal publication versus a conference publication. The election of the ETAP steering committee chair and the ETAP's president is due next year. So you have then the possibility to cast your vote who will be the next president. Yeah, so if you would like to do, if you're interested in this, then please uh, go to this link and, um, and become a member. This ends my, uh, my introduction, uh, my opening of the conference. Um, I hope you will enjoy 2016 and uh, ETAPS 2016 in Eindhoven. And uh, I hope that there will be great talks and that people have a great social time in Eindhoven. Thank you. <laughs>